Hello students, and welcome. Hola los estudiantes, y bienvenidos. Today's lesson will be covering an understanding for basic fractions, la comprensión de fracciones básicas. My name is Justin Harvey, and I will be your instructor today. So let's begin. What is the purpose of fractions? ¿Cuál es el propósito de las fracciones? Well, we use fractions every day to describe parts of a whole. So what exactly does this mean? Well, for an example, let's take a look at a pizza, something we see every day. A pizza is cut into eight equal slices. Each of these slices is a part of the total pizza. So, if you were to eat one slice of pizza, you would be eating one of the eight total parts. This means that you would have been eating one-eighth of the pizza, un octavo de la pizza. So how do we construct these fractions? Well, as we can see with the example one-eighth, we put the part of the pizza that we were eating in the numerator, in the top part of the fraction, the numerador. And the total number of pieces goes down here in the denominator, or the denominador. This is where the total goes. So, the number of pieces that we ate was one. The total number of pieces was eight, and that goes down here. So, the fraction in words that we have is one-eighth, or in Espanol, un octavo. So let's try another example. How many pieces of the bar of chocolate have been eaten? So how are we going to go about this? Well, as we can see, there are six total pieces of chocolate here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. So each of these pieces represents one-sixth of the entire chocolate bar. So as we can see, there are two missing here. So the part that we'll put in our numerator or numerador is dos, two. The part that goes into the denominator, the total number of pieces, is six or seis. And we'll put that in the denominador. This is where the total number of pieces go. And this fraction that we have here is called two six or dos sextos. It's also important to remember that fractions are made up of equal parts. So each shape in this upper section up here is divided into equal parts. So one piece of this is one fourth, one piece of this is one fourth, and one piece of this is one fourth. These shapes down here are also divided into four parts, but these parts are clearly not equal. And because of this, the fractions are not going to be accurate if we were to say that this piece right here is one-fourth. So, let's try it ourselves. Which of these images below shows an example of one-third? Un tercio. Un tercio. Take a minute and think about it. All right. Well, the answer is the circle shows an image of one third. The circle is divided into three equal parts, and one part of the circle is shaded in. So this right here is one third or un tercio. In conclusion, at this point, you should understand that fractions are made up of equal parts. In addition, you should be able to construct and identify fractions based on images and examples like the ones we showed. And finally, if you still have any questions 
or you are unsure about anything at all, ask me, your professor, for additional help. Thank you for joining me today. This has been Understanding Basic Fractions with me, Justin Harvey. Have a good day.